so wonderful to be back with you. I am the Level Fragrance, and on this particular channel, I highly recommend fragrances to you. Fragrances that I have a special love for, and fragrances that I have tested out, and I have some assurance, assurance that you would have develop a love for them as well. But anyways, before I go any further, I would like to say, hello you teens. Thank you so much for turning me, tuning into my channel, and thank you so much for your subscriptions, and thank you so much for your comments. And I really appreciate all the old subscribers and the new subscribers, and I just want to say, keep them coming. But today, I would like to present to you, in this particular segment, some information revolving around fragrances that are in my particular collection and they happen to be by JaVinci. JaVinci has produced some wonderful, lovely fragrances and an exceptional amount of fragrances in his collection, but however, I only have a few. And those few consist of only three. Uh. <laughs> I only have three JaVinci fragrances in my collection. And in these particular fragrances, I want you to understand that it's unfortunate, but two of them are identical. I had no idea I had two fragrances in my collection that are identical, that are the same, and that are very, very exquisitely attractive fragrances, and you will be in agreement with me after I introduce them to you. But here they are right here. These fragrances are specifically by the House of Givenchy in Paris, France, and unfortunately, these two are Frankler, flankers. They are flankers of Givenchy Delilah Noir, which was an exquisitely lovely fragrance as well, but these are in addition to that which are classified as flankers. But this here particular fragrance has a very unique modification to it, and that modification is very lovely, but I'm going to test it a little bit. I know what it smells like previously, but I haven't tried it for a while. I haven't used it in so long. That's why I have two in here because I didn't know what I had. I know what I had, but I didn't know I had two. Somewhat lucky, I guess. <laughs> or I love myself so much. Anyways, I have two. Where they come from and when they came, I have no idea. I cannot guarantee, but as you can see, I don't use them very often. I'm very modest with my fragrances. I always have been and always will be because they are expensive to me, honey. Especially when you try to establish a collection. And I have been collecting fragrances for a very, very long time. I'm waiting for this to dry down so I can give you a prescript prescription of exactly my perception of these here. This fragrance because they're identical. I sprayed them both because they're identical. I know they're identical. I found it questionable in the beginning based on the color and everything, but based on the name, they're identical. One's a two ounce. This is a 2.5 ounce and this is a one ounce. Other than that, I feel like they are absolutely identical and based on the perception that I'm obtaining from this particular scent here, Mm. And we already know that Delilah Divine was designed specifically by one of the finest fragrance houses that there are. And that happens to be Mr. Givenchy. And Mr. Givenchy has designed this here fragrance as the Martyr Day Goddess. That goddess. That's the reputation that it has. The Martyr Day Goddess. And that's quite an honor, isn't it? Who would want to be a goddess? So ladies, if you put this fragrance on, honey, that's the... Uh, Lord, that you're, you're going to project when you wear this fragrance because based on my perception of this scent, it smells very, 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 very primitive. But from a wonderfully lovely modern day perspective because it's designed as a modern day goddess which give you the allure of the European goddess Appearance. Yes, it does. Very, very lovely. Very lovely, soft, delicate fragrance that inspires you to want to be the best woman you can be, the best characterization of yourself, be the attractive woman that you 
can possibly be, but not on the outside, only be beautiful on the inside. This particular fragrance gives you the um, ability to perceive that you can reach your maximum potential of affluence in society. If that's your aspiration and that's the representation and that's the characterization that it displays. A woman that desires to live in the moment and a woman that desires to live to the fullest of her capacity is considered to be a flanker of the Delilah Noor, but yet and still it has a reputation of such eloquence and exquisiteness that you feel and perceive the reputation as you wear this particular fragrance. It's a very lovely, pleasant, clean smelling scent that I love. And the top notes consist of, <clears throat> excuse me, plum mirabella. And the middle notes consist of a jasmine and like a white flower, floral aroma applied toward it. And the base notes, you detect a great deal of patchouli, sandalwood, and some, I assume it's vetiver. Yes. Yes, it's a very, very pleasant scent, but the plumbery floral notes are very up-to-date and it upstate the fragrance to bring it back into the modernization because, like it said, it's for the woman of the modern times, modern day goddess, and the plum notes distribute that reputation exquisitely, and I highly admire this particular fragrance because the fragrance itself happens to be in alignment and with the overall reputation that it represents. And you detect a great deal of green notes in this particular fragrance, which makes it extremely calming. And you also detect a great deal of wooded notes, which makes it somewhat a little bit more romantic. And you can also detect a great deal of warm spiciness applied to this fragrance. And to me, it makes it smells very, very fresh. I find this very appealing and very, to some extent, intimate and very wearable. It's very appropriate and oh yes. And it has a great deal of warm spiciness applied to this fragrance as well, which makes it a great deal more sensual. And all of these notes are distributed so delicately to where you find it very intriguing. Yes, and it has an intensity that grants it this here, uh, I guess in a way, kind of like a, a relaxing atmosphere as well because it smells so natural. It's a pleasantly wearable fragrance and I love the aroma that it projects. And that's the most I can say about this one. It's nice, but again, it's a flanker. But I love it, but I'm still going to check out the, even if I just receive a tester, the Delilah Noor, because I just want to see the, detect the simulation of these two and find out if there's a possibility that one happens to be a lot more uh, attractive than the other one, or they're identical. I know they can't be the same scent, but they do have the same name, so I find it a little questionable. <laughs> Either way, I highly recommend the Lila Divine Vibe Da Vinci to you. And moving along, I have my other fragrance that also happened to be by Da Vinci, the House of Da Vinci. And the name of it happens to be Angel U Demon, the Secret Edition. It's an exotic holiday fragrance with a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful experience when you apply it to your body. I smelled it before, I've tested it, uh, but. I don't have any on right now, but it isn't specifically designed for the holidays. But while that dries down, I want you to know that this particular fragrance was introduced by the House of Da Vinci as an exotic uh, limited addition to the Da Vinci cosmetic line, which happens to be a series for Da Vinci. And it's a beautiful fragrance. However, you get the holiday aroma, aroma um, scent from this particular fragrance because of the fact that it's not designed for the holidays, but it has the holiday scent. 
and it gives you that allure that it's for a holiday it could be for thanksgiving christmas whatever it has a glycerin scent applied to it and it's perfect for the holidays and that's why they classify as for the holiday based on the type of notes that they're applying because it's so warm and it's a scent uh, that gives you that leaves you with the pearl line of shimmer on your body once you apply it to your body as you can see on my hand it has dried and i do have that pearl land like pearls i'm saying pearl land from pearls um um appearance on your body because it's right here on my hand it's a reflection like a film that's applied toward my hand like some cellophane or something on my body because it gives you that shimmer can you imagine going to a very 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 um formal occasion and you actually have this here fragrance applied to your body and you're shimmering all over and you're glistening from the fragrance that would be so attractive to me but that's what you get with this fragrance not only do you get a beautiful fragrance but you get a decorative appearance from the fragrance an attractive alluring appearance from this application of this particular fragrance it's absolutely lovely it's very attractive and it leaves that shimmer on your body wherever you apply it which makes it even more lovable but this particular fragrance comes to you with the top notes consisting of extremely a great deal of lemon jasmine and the orange note blossoms and not only that you have the middle notes which consist of gardenias and salt minerals and then we can deal with the base notes and the base notes consist of an exceptional amount of amber and vanilla and this particular fragrance has notes that are consolidated in a manner that elevates the overall aroma which leaves you with a citric light floral um, aroma but yet and still it's a romantic but leave it feeling a little bit more romantic as well and it's a little bit of pottery appearance applied to apply to this particular fragrance which also makes it very very comforting and and the white flowers in this particular fragrance in a way make it feel like it's just warm it's a warm not seductive but it gives a great deal of sensuality because of the fact that it has that holiday effect toward it that's applied toward it that makes it very attractive and it has a little bit of twist of bitterness because so we know that a lot of holiday scents has a little bit of uh, spices an exceptional amount of spices to them and also it's incorporated sometimes with an exceptional amount of bitterness as well and all of that makes the overall fragrance exceptionally bright in appearance and the scent and the aroma and it's highly detectable but yet and still you get a great deal of sustainability with it as well i find it to be very appealing fragrance and not except intoxicating and it's not exceptionally overbearing in any way it's very lovely but not excessive, excessively delicate but it's highly detectable and i find it to be intriguingly lovely and it's an exotic fragrance which means that it might have a little bit of wildlife applied to it as well which gives it that sensuality overall but i think you will love the fragrance by javinci because this one comes from um a limited edition like i said before but there are an exceptional amount of editions of this particular fragrance with the same name but for from different product lines but mr javinci i think this here is a lovely fragrance and it's in a suction such an exotic container as well and i highly recommend Angel Udiman, the secret addition to you as a recommendation to your fragrance collection. And I also recommend Delilah Divine by Givenchy also to your collection of fragrances. And I really do appreciate you tuning in. And I thank you very much for taking the time to view my channel. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you.